So the $500 launch monitor has become a really popular item lately. Uh, and Rapsodo is one of the best new brands that I've seen come out. You've got the Doppler radar, which is here in the cradle, uh, and that's right here, and it just opens up like that, and then you put your phone right in it, uh, and it records video of you hitting as well with a shot tracer. So not only can you see the shot tracer in the video, but you can see the data as well. It's collecting like distance, ball speed, club head speed, launch angle, um, some really useful data when it comes to practice. You can be more engaged, have good feedback. We're out here today. We've got Jace, the cameraman. I'm gonna hit some shots here. He's gonna see where those land. He's gonna walk up and then I got a range finder. We're gonna laser how far he is, but let's see if it's within five, 10 yards of what it actually is and if it gives us that useful data that we'd want. Let's dive in. All right, so we are here on this par three that is 170 yards. Um, I've got the Rapsodo MLM behind me, phone is there, so we're gonna see the shot trigger, so we're gonna see the information. Uh, I've got the seven iron loaded in, which a cool feature, you can put your club like this, it'll pick up the, the number and change your club, so that's kinda cool, but let's hit some shots. It's a little left of the flag, it is drawing a bit. Distance is 176 yards. 176. Okay, let's see. We got Jace out there. He is watching where that landed. He's got 172. 172 to where he is there. Uh, we got a little wind, which is hurting. That probably stopped it. Thanks, Jace. Let's go ahead down. Let's hit some shorter shots. I like to hit those wedge shots, which are around 60, 70 yards. See how accurate they are? That's really important, and that's one of the reasons we're using this is good feedback helps us practice smarter, we get better faster. So let's see if we can get that distance dialed in, see if it's actually accurate. We're gonna test part of the accuracy, which I think is probably most important, and it's with our wedges, with these short shots that we all would need some really good feedback when practicing so we can improve. Because if we don't know how far we're hitting it when we're out here working on our wedges, um, how do we get any better? So you need good feedback. Best ways with the launch monitor. So we've got Jace, he's out there again. We are, I think this is like 108, 109 yards when I lasered it with the range finder. Uh, we're into a, a little bit of a breeze. So we're gonna hit some shots. I have a sand wedge. Um, let's see how far they go. Yards. We got the wind blowing into us a little bit. 95 yards is how far that went. So that is right on point, I think, with that wind blowing that back a little bit, it makes sense to me. Um, one of the interesting things which I like that we'll look at here is launch angle. So I launched that one at 36.1. So uh, I'd like to keep that pretty consistent with my ball flight here on wedges. Um, don't want that to get too low or too high unless there's a there's a reason to do that. So let's see if we can hit another one here. Hit that one a little farther. Distance is 106 yards. Ball speed is 106. miles per hour. Launch angle is 34.2 degrees. That's great. Distance is 103 yards. 103. That one was just a little bit chunked. Not my best swing, but didn't turn out that bad. Jace, let's see. Jace is a hundred and four yards away. I think that one ran out a little bit. So let's go a little bit closer and let's actually play with that launch angle. See if we can hit some higher, hit some lower and see if the Rapsodo picks that up. All right, so I'm gonna grab the lob wedge here. All right, so we find ourselves, let's see, how close are we? Uh, 86 yards from the flag now. So we've come just a little bit farther up the fairway. Again, we're trying to figure out, is this accurate enough to get some useful feedback from? Um, I have switched that to lob wedge. Uh, so I'm going to hit, let's hit a couple shots here. Let's try to take this one in a little bit lower, potentially. 
See what we can do. You know what? I think I hit that higher than normal, not lower. Well, Jace is running up. That did not go 86 yards at all. Yeah, that went 72 yards. So um, we're right on point there. That's a 42 launch angle. Let's see if we can take this one a little bit lower and a little bit further. Let's get this one closer to the flag. All right. Launch angle is 38.8 degree. That was, that was definitely better. That was what we were looking for. We brought the launch angle down. We got it a little bit further. Jace is standing right there, 83 yards. So that's right on point. I mean, this is what we need, right? We need feedback to figure out. We're out here practicing. Is the ball going as far as we think it is? Uh, that launch angle, is it all over the place? Are we pretty consistent? Um, and playing around with that. So, you know, if I was out here practicing, I would be playing, you know, a few different games. I'd be looking at trying to hit it high and low intentionally. I'd be trying to hit it shorter and longer and kind of randomize a little bit to just work on my distance control. But you've got to have good feedback. Uh, you can't just do it by guessing if you don't have anyone standing out there. If you don't have a handy cameraman like Chase uh, who can tell you how far it is, then you're just guessing. And that's not what we want from a practice. Uh, I mean, we're all about trying to practice smarter here at Golf Science Lab. And uh, having good feedback is absolutely key. So that is accurate. Uh, let's do one more test. Let's get a little bit closer and see how it does from, uh, let's say like 50 yards, right? Let's, let's try that. All right, so we've moved up quite a bit. We are 60 yards from the flag now. Um, these are those kind of shots where we really need good feedback when practicing because, you know, I think I need to fly this about 55 yards. Um, I think I know what that feels like, but we need some practice with this. It's like, honestly, that was, that was really not great. I didn't have enough speed. My launch angle was too high. Um, and it went, you know, 33 yards. I was, I was 20 yards short of where we're trying to be. Poor Jace, the cameraman. We're just making him run all over this green. What in the world? Sorry, Jace. That was horrible. So it's 35 yards. So, I mean, it's really nice you can confirm <laughs> when you're not hitting a good shot, right? No, I, I kid, but uh, I mean, we all need that feedback. Most of the time you hit that shot and go like, oh, that's terrible. And then you just come up here and you hit another one again. But now we have real feedback on how far it went and what that looked like. So let's see if we can actually hit a real shot. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, that's not bad. Distance is 52 yards. 52 yards, that is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, Jace is 53 yards right now. So that's right on point. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Um, I was trying to get that launch angle was what I was looking for there and ended up hitting a really good shot. So um, the question we're answering is, is this accurate enough? We've hit a few shots, we had a full iron shot, and this wedge space is really where I think this is useful for most of us, is really coming in here. Um, they actually have some games in their episode as well that randomize the different yardages. Uh, but is it accurate enough? I would say yes, absolutely. We've done some tests here on the course, which have proven that. Uh, in real life, we're getting similar yardages. So it uh, gets a thumbs up from me. Here's the cool part. We have a GSL discount code down there that Rapsodo sent out. So link is down below. Use the word GSL code. Uh, it's a really good discount. It's super generous of them to send that over to us. So uh, click on that link below. Check it out. We've, we're going to do a few more videos with this. Um, so stay tuned for some of those. Sub hit that subscribe button here on YouTube and uh, follow along Rapsodo. I think we proved it's pretty accurate.